Hello everybody and welcome once again back to Mechanism 110. I managed to get myself out of that mine without too much of a problem. Now, next thing we're going to do is do some more improvements. So let's go downstairs. Oh, and I did in I built another anvil and enchanted this uh packs also it's now got unbreaking efficiency for. So that should be even faster. I do actually need to get some water. I've got water, that's good. Let's go and get some lava. Obsidian, I mean. That's the first thing I want to do. It's not very far away, is it, if I remember rightly? about it. I've actually forgotten where it is. Hmm. It was here. Good. So now we've put down our bucket of water. And we shall swap that. No, we'll put it on here and press F on that one and we shall start to dig up some obsidian. Just like that. Looks like it's going in the water, but it's not it's just making some obsidian and the water will be putting the making more obsidian from the lava before we get anywhere near it i'll go down another layer i'm not quite sure how much i need really about 24 i think so or was it making two up here a bit that one oops I didn't want that to do that never mind let's pull those out of there and quickly jump down here but I won't be able to get out so let's just make a way out oops that's not a good idea quickly put that bucket of water down there pick it up again uh, we'll do another one here. I think that may in fact also be lava, but no, that's fine. So of course we could do the same thing here, but I'd rather not. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Four cobblestone. Move these out of the way. Oh, we've got 17 obsidian. That's pretty good. All I need to just basically stand on one block, put the bucket of water down somewhere else, and then start digging again. Um, where should we start here? I want around about 24, so that's probably four now. Let's pick up these blocks. Some more cobble too. If I can get in there, that's good. And now we just need to get out of the place. I'm not sure I got. Oh, there's one over there. Let's go and get that as well. Twenty-four. That's great. That's basically enough for a set of armor. In fact, I'll just put down. Um, Let's just break. We should have um, break one of these. Maybe cobble. No, no good. What I want to do is to basically make the lava make the light. Can't reach it. There we go. And then that basically illuminates enough of that. So now back home. I guess that's the path. In fact, I should probably make this path a bit wider now because we've dug out a lot of that. So let's just do that. If I can reach. Four. Perfect. And we're back, back to base. Let's jump in here, press the button. Which activates that for a few seconds. 
just enough to get to the next powered rail. And up we go. So the next thing I want to do is to make the digital miner. I'm not sure I've got enough time to do that this episode. But we'll also at the same time make this um, compressed obsidian. Where's it gone to? I think I need three of those, yes. In the enrichment chamber. That's empty, that's good. So I'll put that should give me 24 exactly. So we can then put, oh, we need obsidian dust. That's what we needed, which is in the enrichment chamber. So I think that's half of those. Should give us two. But while that's processing, let's make a speed upgrade. Oh, I do want to make this as well, the configurator. So lapis lazuli and another energy tablet. Okay, let's get the ingredients for that. Lapis lazuli, probably redstone, probably iron. This is a very useful tool. I hope we can do one of those. Um, and we can do one of those. This needs charging up, so we'll put this in the energy uh, cell. Or the energy cube. And you put it in here, I think. And then that adds the power to it. Pretty straightforward, really. In fact, that's going up very fast. Right, it's going to be full at about 60k joules. Okay, so now you can change the mode on this thing by shift right clicking. I think was it right clicking? Oh, I'm on it. I think that's a control, so it might be a mechanism. It might be M. No, let's have a look. I forgot which one it is. Let's go to the option of controls. And have a look what mechanism it's telling me. Mechanism. Armor switch item mode. So it's M for mode. So just press M and then right click. No, nope, that's not doing it. So it's shift M. Ah, there we go. So now it's configuring fluids. So you're right. Oh, you press the shift. Oh, what you're doing is press shift M. Shift M. That's configuring glasses. That's configure energy. That's heat. That's doing nothing. That's rotating an item, a block. That's the wrench, which basically lifts the block out of the way. And we're back to items, fluids, gases. So you have these different modes. So, for example, if you wanted to rotate this machine here, you should also be able to see the faces on here as well. If you right click on it it should tell you the face but I'm not sure which mode that's on let's have a look is that wrench mode wrench is rotating it definitely and that was shift right clicking that picks it up I will put that back down again because we do actually need the osmium compressor at the moment hopefully it didn't lose it no what's being in there at the moment either so we don't need to worry about that because I was producing some osmium dust which I've basically been smelting in here so we've got plenty of osmium now put those in there we shall take I think we need 24 so let's get 24 of those out of here and put those into here so that gives me 200 liquid and we should just simply then take the 24 osmium dust here and put those into here. Oops, didn't work. Try again. Shift clicking didn't work in that case. What have I done wrong? It's in the enrichment chamber. That's, I've forgotten how to do that. So I'll look for the recipe for this one. Osmium dust, refined osmium dust, I think. Ah, oh, metallurgy confuser with diamonds. Where's that gone to? Here, 
that's the diamond this that's right I wanted to get this working and I wanted to get the speed upgrade first of all so let's do that here we go speed upgrade so we just need some osmium dust which we should have some of in here now 38 take those my inventory is looking horribly full again so so anything I can get rid of in here yes but not let's just put this in the chest we don't need those two in the moment it's not the right chest but we'll put them in the right chest later on how many can we do one because we don't have enough enriched alloy do we have any enriched alloy in any other place no anyway so what we'll do now is put this into here into this machine because it's already got full energy and uh, now it's got one speed it's probably got one of eight so it should be going a third faster if we look at the machine it looks a little bit faster hard to say but I'd like to do some more of those and get that up to speed as well in fact let's get rid of this obsidian because I don't need that now we've got plenty of that we're going to have plenty of ingots We'll put all these metals in here for the time being, and we'll put actually, we do want the charcoal in here too. Sort that out. So, we've got plenty of charcoal for the machines, uh, for the furnaces. Make sure these are topped up as well. Probably not going to have so I'll have enough. So, the next machine. I want to make was some um, was a digital miner and that's this machine here so that's got quite a lot of stuff including a robot now a robot needs two refining which we've got an atomic alloy so this is basically metallurgy confuser with enriched alloy will give me one of these reinforced alloys which we then use with some refined osmium dust and oh, we can also compress that that's good to know I didn't realize that so there's a bit of work to produce this and where are we what, are, what can we do on this one it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do all of this today iron ingots basic control circuits but we also need to power this so I'm going to do the power bit first of all so what we're going to do is we're going to make some solar panels and we're going to have to make these ones first of all so we have to make some solar panels so what do we need some glass redstone enriched alloy we haven't got enough red enriched alloy only one we'll need a lot of these actually panes of glass have made some so we need some iron and some redstone. In fact, I've got four of these already. We'll make another. Mm, we'll make another four of these, I think. Oh, you can see this turning around now. The the energy cube. That'll make 40 um, of enriched alloys. I think that's probably a good number, actually. How much iron have we got? Not enough, because I turned all the iron I got into steel. But there should be so oh, plenty of dust in here. Let's do those. So, well, half, half of these in here. So that gives me and half in here. At least it'll go faster that way. So those are now finished so I can now put these into here and we'll actually start these to process so we've got two iron ingots in fact while I'm waiting for these things to do their stuff let's go and put the junk away we've got some Stuff I don't really need in here. 
that looks better. Let's go and shove this upstairs. Must be night time, because I can hear the dogs growling. Uh, in fact, I will put the smooth down in here. And some gravel, yes. And in here, I'll put the cactus. Is that the only first piece of cactus I've got? It must be. Let me have a look. Any mobs outside the door? That must be warning. There's a mob right over there. There's usually mobs behind us. We can't see them though. And the dogs have stopped growling. There's usually a mob over here I can reach, but not today. Anyway, it's morning, so we don't need to do anything. But I'll make some more food while I'm here. Let's get some of these. Must be something there, because I can hear the dog growling. It's just there. That'll be above us, I think, judging by the colour. Now, what are we doing? Compressed steel, I compressed, let's just sort that. Clear those, that's fine. That's finished. That's finished too. We needed some more iron for this and we need 34. That's 26, that's not gonna be 27. And we need another five after that, so this should be just about finished. If I get one more than I need, that's no problem. That's 32, I actually do need two more. I think my math was off. So that says 30, that's now 30, that's fine. So, solar panels. Me and just and this, so we need the gold and the redstone and the enriched alloys. Okay, we've got the redstone, we've got some gold. I'll need some osmium dust as normal. In fact, that's the refined osmium dust. I think we can put that into the enrichment chamber that gives compressed osmium, which we will need. So we need some more of that anyway, so I've still got another 19 obsidian, so we've got plenty of obsidian. We just uh, basically compress a few more of these, put those into there, and let those get enriched and compressed. Going through a fair few diamonds, but nothing too exciting. Right, now, back to this. I'm hoping to get about four of these, so that's good, we need four. I would like to get four um, solar panels. So what we need here is just iron ingots. Sorry, and these. So we need to do these first. We need. What's that? Oh, I was just highlighting that. So we need osmium. So we need four, twelve osmium ingots. Take the stack of what we got left of that at the moment. what we need gives me 10 and I wanted 12 didn't I what am I missing redstone probably nope we need 9 no nope. we need 12 oh glass panes is that all uh, one short Uh, still some missing, what's going wrong now? Oh, we need redstone. Are we missing redstone? Still the redstone up already. No problem, let's make some more redstone. 
and that's why so we've got plenty of these coming through. So I'll put that redstone out here. It's a good way to compress the old redstone. So we need one more of these. And it says I can make four. We won't make four, we'll just make the one. We also need an iron ingot. Where are those? We actually need four iron ingots. Should be out of here now, so that's good. So now we can make this. And I think... Yes, now the problem with this, of course, is it's... These don't stack, so you've got to do them four individually. Did I miss one? Yes, I did. Now, from those we can then make the advanced solar panel. And we just make one of those. And it doesn't actually sh say, does it? So if I do Shift and M, it doesn't tell me what the generation of these are. So if I'm shifting, it doesn't say how much power these produce, as far as I can see. Anyway, it doesn't matter, we take one of these. And that is going to be used to gen um, to power the miner. In fact, I think we can actually go and demonstrate that. We've got basic universal cable, let's make some more of those. Make two of those. Um, redstone, that's right. So it was just, the actual recipe is like this. So we've got enough of those. So let's go our ladder. And as we get up here, let's click this. Now this, the actual solar panel is actually quite large. So it needs plenty of space. So that's why I brought this extra cable. So that maybe it goes down here. It does. In fact, it's a four by four. So I'll have to move this out of the way. Put that down there, say. And then we can put some cable across. If we have a look at this, right click it, you'll see that it's telling us that we've got sun, its output is that, and we've already got nearly 200k joules, so it's producing 600 joules per tick. Is, I'm not sure what that is in RF, but... So now that's actually adding to the power we've got downstairs. So there we go again. If I can get down this ladder. Yep. Right. And of course, one thing I haven't made is the jetpack. The jetpack's really cool. So we need, oh, we've practically got enough for this. So tin ingots, steel ingots, basic control, and a gas tank. So can we do that if so we can make a gas tank? So we're missing steel ingots and tin ingots, but we should have some of those in here. Which one was the three? I'm not sure. So we now can produce one jetpack, I think. And the next stage is we can make an armoured jetpack. So that's a steel block, two diamond dusts, and some bronze ingots. Oh, I haven't made any bronze yet make some bronze because bronze is, a v is another really good material in mechanism take so what we do got that em that's empty we'll put one tin ingot in here to start with because uh, it needs to be tin dust huh? let's go and crush that in fact probably the best way to do that is to take a tin ore and put it through the process and then we end up with tin dust rather than waste time doing other things and we could add speed upgrades into this and we could also turn these into factories 
Now turning them to factories is really simple. In fact, I think it's worthwhile demonstrating that. So let's pick up this one. Let's come into here and look at the uses of this machine here. So basically, to produce a basic purifying factory, we can actually produce it straight away. Without any thoughts at all. And now we put it down here and look at it. So now the interface has changed completely. In fact, what it is, is actually three purifying um, chambers in, a, in, in parallel. So it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. So now if I take, say, um, so three iron, four iron. Let's put four iron into this hopper here. Uh, of course, I've got to reconfigure the machine because I have when I took it off, it's disabled it. So we went red on the top, so that will be input. So this time it's going down one chamber. But if I click the S button here, it splits it. So it'll go down all four chambers, and here's the oxygen level. Now, of course, we've also got to configure this to eject on the, on the right-hand side, so it comes through here. And we can do that with all the machines. So I wanted the tin dust, didn't I? So let's put one of these tin dusts in here, and that produces 50 tin. So that's basically five ingots of copper. And then we should end up with bronze ingots. Great. First time I did that, I hadn't realised it was a it was that sort of level. Um, I'm not sure if you can enrich this. I don't think you can enrich this one. What have we got here? So we can ores, tin dust. And that's basically it. So now we've got our four bronze, five bronze ingots. And what I wanted to do was this one, didn't I? Steel, we've got plenty of steel, so we can make a block of steel. Two diamond dust, and the recipe for those is just in the crusher, one diamond. Let's get those two going through here. This is the crusher. The crusher's getting full. What I could do is put a hopper on the top of it, and then it would be able to intervene, as it were. But we don't need to intervene, we've only got three to go. So we're waiting for the diamond dust. What else do we need for this? Yep, yeah, and just two bronze ingots. Oh, so we just need the crusher to finish. to go and then we can put these into here so if you put a hopper on the top it will take it in an intervals as it were if there's a gap between the processing from the f from the purification chamber now the basic factory they've come into here and I don't think we want that to be enriched so we need those as dusts so I have to watch it in this case there we go so that should be all we need for the armoured jetpack. So now we need to charge this up. And this needs gas. And this needs hydrogen. So this is where this machine comes into. We don't have much hydrogen at the moment. It's still stuck on that level of hydrogen. So it looks to me as I'm going to have to... Hmm... And I think it has to go into here. That's power that's taking it out. I think that's where it'll go into. Is there any is there any gas stored into there? No. So what we can do, let's see if we can get some let's get those working a bit faster on place. Let's just take some char uh, charcoal out of here and see if that actually improves this 
It should be getting enough power in here. If that doesn't work, we'll have to add some speed upgrades into this. Um, put in that one. Still no gas, and this is still empty. Because this is still filling up. So let's make some more speed uh, speed upgrades. Now, can we do that one? Let's have a look. We can make five speed upgrades. I will do. Because we do need this to be faster. In fact, we need a few of these machines to be faster. Especially this one. It's got, at the moment, two speed upgrades. So we'll shove it in. Oh, we'll do all five. See, then the effect is now eight, 16 times faster, 32 times faster. And look at that. Straight away, the hydrogen's gone right up in here. And hopefully we're going to get some gas into this as well. In fact, the water's not even keeping up with this now. Isn't that amazing? So this should start to fill up as well. As soon as the hydrogen here is filled up, it's probably used run out of has it run out of power? Yes it has. I wonder if I've not connected it right because this should work. But it should also be getting power from the front here, because they are connected. Show us, you see it's actually... Hmm. That's for power. Do you know, I don't know what's going on here. Why is it using all of this hydrogen up? I shall have to go and think about that. That's a strange none of these machines are actually running as far as I can see. Let's go over here. I've probably got some silly energy loop. Okay. I shall leave it at that. And I will see you next time. I shall have to go and figure this out. I have no idea what's going on here. And I'm wondering if I can actually remove some of these energy upgrades as well. Maybe it doesn't like having two sets of power. But he wouldn't be going into these. That wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. Alright. So, until next time. Bye for now.